In this session, we'll be detailing you about another class of fungus which is called zygomycetes and zygomycetes are called conjugation fungi because of the name because of the method of conjugation of sexual reproduction now the time we were talking about phycomycetes i have told you that phycomycetes have got aseptic mycelia aseptic means xenocytic or multinucleated and phycomycetes was divided into oomycetes and zygomycetes so zygomycetes members will also have aseptic or xenocytic mycelia the only, the one among the very important differences between what you call zygomycetes and oomycetes member is the cell wall the cell wall is made up of cellulose in case of oomycetes but here in most of the fungus it is made up of chitin so remember zygomycetes and oomycetes both are the member of phycomycetes but in oomycetes the cell wall is made up of cellulose in what you call zygomycetes the cell wall is made up of chitin and chitin is also called fungal cellulose when you look forward for the habitat they are basically terrestrial they are found on the land system but uh, they are saprophytes and they are rarely parasites also when you look forward for the reproduction they basically divide with the help of sporangiospores sporangiospores were also present in oomycetes member and sexually they have this particular method which is called gametangial copulation when you lock when you you know have a look on zygomycetes members the members the important members i've told you is rhizopus and mucor so rhizopus and mucor are two very important what you call members of zygomycetes when you talk about rhizopus it is also called bread mold you must be seeing the bread and sometimes when you put the bread in moisture and all there is some mold coming up with the mycelia that is actually the rhizopus mold mucor mucido it's called dung or pin mold it is basically found on dung one important member it's called absidia which is causing bronchomycosis bronco it's related to your lungs so in the bronchi of lungs the fungus attacks and this causes bronchomycosis so in next session i'll be talking about ascomycetes